I am reading Scuttle's Big Wish, author and illustrator Sean and Ryan Delones. Scuttle loved cheese. He liked other things too. His little mouse hole, his cozy straw bed, and of course his best friend Tweet. But cheese is what he loved the most. Getting cheese was not easy. There were mouse traps and other dangers all along the way. Worst of all, there was Pounce the cat. Luckily, Scuttle was really fast and always managed to scurry home safely. One day, Scuttle heard a faint cry. Help! Help! He peeped outside. A golden beetle was trapped in a spider's web. So Scuttle scampered up the sticky web and freed the beetle. Thank you, said the golden beetle. I am in your debt and I will grant you any wish. I wish, said Scuttle, that everything I touch turns to cheese. Cheese it is, buzzed the beetle. That night, Scuttle forgot all about his silly wish. But the next morning, Scuttle woke up to find his bed had turned to... Cheese! As soon as his feet touched the floor, it turned to... Cheese! Everything he touched turned to... Cheese! Cheese! Was he dreaming? Then he remembered the beetle. Somehow his wish had come true. St Scuttle started to touch and eat everything in sight. He ate and ate and ate and ate. Look at his belly growing. And ate and ate and ate. Soon Scuttle was very full and very thirsty as he waddled up to Pounce's bowl for a drink. But when his tongue touched the milk, it turned to... Cheese! Uh-oh, Scuttle squeaked. How will I ever drink again? What's going on here? Pounce hissed from behind him. Scuttle turned to run, but he couldn't run fast anymore. He couldn't run at all. Pounce sniffed at him suspiciously. He came closer and closer until one of his whiskers brushed against Scuttle. And then Pounce turned to... Cheese! Cheese! Tweet flew down to see what was wrong. No, Tweet, no, Scuttle squeaked. Stay away from me. But it was too late and Tweet turned to... Cheese! Cheese. Scuttle was miserable. His wish had come true, but it wasn't so wonderful after all. What have I done? He cried. Take back my wish, Golden Beetle. Oh, please take it back. He's crying. Scuttle heard a soft buzzing. The beetle flew into the room and... Suddenly, everything changed back. Oh, Tweet, you're back. He did hear me after all. Thank you, Golden Beetle. Scuttle told Tweet the whole story. They both agreed that you have to be careful what you wish for. For the first time, Scuttle realized how beautiful the world was, even if it's not made of cheese. cheese. He was very happy that everything was back to normal. Well, almost everything.